In the community of Horton, the Fighting Tigers athletic programs are a source of pride. And the boys' soccer team has built itself into one of Horton's top programs in recent years. We've always been one of the most uh, successful programs here at uh, Warren High School. And you know, it is a little bit of a pressure, but it's a good pressure, you know. It'll just push us to do better. The Tigers sit atop the standings in District 24-4A, and they're close to locking up their second district title in the last three years, after just missing out on the crown a year ago. They were one point away from winning district. And if we accomplish this, that means like we're, we're moving in the right direction, moving forward. We feel like we are, we're supposed to be, we're ranked number first right now in district, but we're not satisfied. We haven't accomplished what we want, which is go to, go to state. Let's go. First year head coach Julio Delgado has the Tigers determined to win big in 2020. He brings enthusiasm, power, the a willing to win, wanting to win, and just it, he's like the glue that sticks this team together. He's doing great. I really hope he stays for my next three years. Uh, he brings he brings a good attitude to the team. As impressed as the Tigers players are with Delgado, Delgado is even more taken aback by his team's passion for the sport. The one thing that is different from other places I coach is we're done practicing and they stay an hour, two hours kicking the ball, playing, practicing what we did during uh, the period. Then even Sundays, like, coach, we're gonna go. Can we use the field? Like, why? We're gonna go play. On Sundays, afternoons, Saturdays, afternoons, so it's soccer, is in, in their blood. With that love of soccer comes a competitive fire that has the Tigers hungrier than ever. That's just my mentality is winning, winning, winning. Um, I, I can say that nobody on this team likes to lose and everybody fights real hard to the end to win. A lot of the teammates we have this year uh, were on the sophomore year team from my sophomore year. And uh, we made that's the farthest we've ever made it in this program. So that just that experience and probably the hunger from the younger ones that helps a lot. Totality wise, they're they're strong mental. We have a lot of good the backbone of the team of seniors. However, our freshmen and our um, juniors and sophomores, they're all are ready to step in when, when needed. Horton features a combination of a strong senior class that still has great chemistry with a number of talented underclassmen. It's our connection with each other. Like most of us have played with each other since we were kids, so we know how it is, how we are, and it's just really tight. We've been friends forever. You know, we grew up together, so to get to play on the team and represent our school is something special. We have a really strong brotherhood bond, and yeah, we've been playing since we were like a young age, so it's, we're, we all know each other, we all know how we play on the field, so we adapt really quick. With the regular season winding down, the Tigers are setting their sights on making the program's first ever run to state. I feel pretty excited. I feel like we have a lot of potential to make it far this year, farther than we ever have. One, two, three, Tigers!